latest now on your weather. Ted outside, Storm 28 meteorologist Erica Martin live in Hamden tonight. Erica. I'm uh, hiking right now in Sleeping Giant uh, State Park, and right now I'm just holding back those showers at least for another hour or so. Our storm track radar picking up on some showers just to the southwest, mo moving across uh, New York State into Connecticut. Now, we do have a warm front also sliding in, so right now in our headlines, I am tracking that warm front, those showers, and some patchy fog building through the overnight hours. I do think we may see an isolated a thunderstorm tonight, some rumbling certainly, but it's really not until later tomorrow night when we start to see some heavier downpours and some more isolated thunderstorms. Otherwise, we do have our wider perspective here. I want to show you our national radar and zoom on in to Connecticut. We're seeing those clouds build and those showers again approaching about another hour or so. We're going to start to see some showers out there. Hour by hour forecast, folks. I want to show you this 48 hours in advance. We're going to pause this a few times. We're going to take our time through this. So it's Starting at 7 p.m., seeing those showers uh, starting to approach Connecticut and those clouds certainly getting a lot more thick. That patchy fog is starting to build through the overnight hours. I don't think visibility will be an issue, but it's something to be mindful of. And then we pause this tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., looking at the threat of some isolated thunderstorms to start your morning commute. So if you leave your house at 5, 6, 7 a.m., maybe give yourself a little extra time because you may encounter some heavy downpours as you're driving to work. Otherwise, our overnight lows tonight bottoming out in the 60s, some patchy fog in the forecast and those scattered showers tomorrow topping out in the 80s. And it looks like we'll start off with those moderate to heavy downpours earlier on in the day. We'll see some breaks in those showers and then some more thunderstorms and showers in the forecast tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. Otherwise, the weekend forecast now Saturday, a little bit of a mixed bag there. Those showers start to end earlier on in the day by about 7, 8, 9 a.m. And then we're going to see a little bit of a break. I did have to add a spot shower for northern Connecticut, picking that up on models. And then mostly clear skies on Sunday with some extra clouds starting to develop later on in the day. Extended eight-day forecast. I'm also tracking some showers and thunderstorms for the following Tuesday into Wednesday. Otherwise, temperatures really just uh, set on the 80s for the next couple of days. You be sure you log on to WXEdge.com for more weather updates and I'm going to go ahead and continue my hike up to the top. I'll see you back in the studio at 10 and at 11.